Hi, my name is Jason Hoster, Senior Vice President of Field Operations here at TRC. Welcome once again to our Pennsylvania Training Facility. Today we're going to join one of our ACDC commissioning classes, which is offered to both TRC employees and clients. This course teaches students processes and procedures to safely and efficiently commission AC and DC circuits, equipment, and systems. As you will see in the following video, students gain theoretical and practical hands-on knowledge while attending this course. So I'm Andrew Roy, I'm with TRC. Uh, today we're going to be performing CT uh, polarity checks. Hey guys, you know I am Tony Ortiz. Um, as Andy said, we're going to be doing CT checks. Uh, followed up with PT checks as well, right? That and, is correct. And, Hey folks, it's Brian Moores, the Chief Engineer of TRC's Testing and Commissioning Services. In this training, the instructors are explaining CT secondary circuit testing. The training covers multiple different methods of testing CT circuits to allow for flexibility to client and industry standards. Students are learning about primary and secondary current injection methods, circuit burden, single point grounding, and verification of ratio, wiring, polarity, and phasing. And as always, safety, human performance, and process excellence are all a core part of the training ensuring the students have a comprehensive understanding of requirements and considerations during testing. To accomplish all the different testing methods, the training also introduces test equipment. Since there are many different types of test equipment and vendors, the basics of each test are reviewed, and then various equipment is used to demonstrate how each performs the test. The goal is for the students to learn to focus on the test and not just the test equipment. They learn the fundamentals and philosophy of each test, how to evaluate the test results, and identify pass-fail conditions. They leave the training with the flexibility to use any type of test equipment. But most importantly, they know there is more to testing than pressing a button on a piece of test equipment. The students learn about application and design of CTs and CT circuits to further develop their understanding. They learn to navigate drawings and relay settings to validate connections and CT ratios. They recognize the importance of all connected devices, which could be protective relays that rely on the correct secondary currents to identify abnormal power system conditions and take the appropriate actions. They are taught that we don't just commission drawings, we commission circuits, and this requires a full understanding of the application and the design intent. In general, the training includes classroom time, where theory and application are learned, followed by demonstrations by the instructors, and finally, the students break into groups and participate in hands-on activities in the training lab, where they apply what they learn during the classroom and demonstration portions. They must then demonstrate comprehensive understanding of the circuits, test methods, and test equipment. Each student is given multiple CT circuits to functionally test and verify. Now, These circuits have been purposely modified to include errors in the design, the application, or the wiring, and they must find and correct those issues and match the design intent. This is likely the situation that will be encountered in the field, and we need our workers to understand there is no such thing as a perfect design. We are actively looking for what might be wrong, the needle in the haystack, so to speak, and we always validate the application operates as intended.